What causes belly fat and how can we find it? Many people have belly fat, even if they are not overweight. Unfortunately, many people find this type of fat hard to get rid of, even after trying various diets and using all kinds of treatment. However, their efforts might be misdirected and the solution to getting rid of belly fat might not be so complicated after all. In this article, you will find out what causes belly fat. We're going to focus on the following causes, protein deficit, hormonal changes, lack of adequate exercise and bad posture. What causes belly fat? When we talk about people being overweight, we understand that they have too much fat, or perhaps, water retention, in certain parts of their body. For instance, this could be their abdomen, thighs, arms, back, glutes, etc. However, one of the most common problems for middle-aged men and women is belly fat. There are even slender people who have belly fat, who struggle to get rid of it, despite easily losing fat in other parts of their body. Below, you'll discover why this could be the case. An unbalanced diet. When we wonder why we have belly fat and how we can get rid of it, we often think that we should reduce our calorie intake. However, the idea that we should eat better quality food, which is not processed, instead of cutting calories, is becoming more popular. To follow a balanced diet that helps you to lose belly fat, you should. Add a portion of protein in each main meal, alternating between animal protein, preferably organic, and vegetable protein, legumes, nuts, avocado. Choose whole grains instead of refined grains. Eliminate white sugar from your diet and consume honey, sugar cane honey, whole sugar cane, etc. Stop eating processed and hydrogenated fats, present in fried foods, margarines, or confectionery item. Instead you should consume healthy fats, found in cold pressed vegetable oils, olive, coconut, sesame and flax seed oils, for instance, avocado, nuts, seeds, oily fish, and butter or ghee. Food intolerances. There are people who suffer from food intolerances, but don't know it yet. This problem leads to discomfort, such as swelling in the abdomen, as well as digestive disorders. If you suspect that this could be your case, then there are different types of tests that can confirm this. The most common types of intolerance are to gluten and lactose. Living a sedentary lifestyle. Exercise is vital to maintaining a healthy weight. More importantly, it helps you to lose weight from your waist. This is because a lack of exercise causes us to gain belly fat. The most appropriate exercises are high to medium intensity exercises. It's enough to do two or three half hour sessions a week of these exercises. Hormonal changes.
hormonal changes also cause us to gain belly fat. This is especially the case for women going through perimenopause and menopause. However, young women who have high levels of estrogen, can also suffer from hormonal changes. A balanced diet is also vital for regulating hormones. Supplements such as maca, chaste brie and yam also help in this area. Furthermore, menopausal women can also benefit from taking evening primrose oil. Fortunately, some hormonal disorders also disappear over time, because the body readjusts naturally. Bad posture. When none of the factors above seem to be related to your case, you should also consider whether your belly fat could be related to bad posture. Many people suffer from spinal deformations, such as lordosis or scoliosis, also have excess fat on the sides of their body. In these cases, the body's natural intelligence is helping them to maintain their balance on their feet. To resolve this problem it's best to do postural re-education exercises. These will help you relax, increase the flexibility and strength of your spine and abdomen, just as a consultation with a manual therapist would do.